What's poppin' fam? It's your boy Unk No Punk. Unk No Punk with another short video just for you. Yeah, this is gonna be about the Hebrew Israelites. Yes, the Hebrew Israelites. You know, there's like a colony of Hebrew Israelites who left America back around 1968, you know, and migrated to Israel, called their home, saying we are in Judaism or something is, and this is our divine right to be back home. So they let them come back and this idea, the so-called Israelis, right? Now, 2020, they send, they're kicking seven of them out of there. Some has, you know, how you call it, permanent resident status, but some do not, right? It's like something like in America. We have these illegal, illegal aliens and some was okay, but um, some stay, but they go get their paperwork, but they've been living inside the community for a long time. Maybe have some people in their family that are all legal. This is the same situation now that's going on in Israel with these um, Hebrew Israelites, right? Now they want to stay, they saying. We deserve this our rights and things like that, right? But the Israelis, like I said, we they don't want to hear that, the Israelis. They say, we, your rights. You're not having the rights. This is not America, you know? <laughs> this is not America. If you don't have your paperwork done, have correctly, you ain't come down and get your stamps and the passports and you can live here legally, they give them 60 days and they got to get the hell out of there. Huh? 60 days. In America, you do that, they're going to start crying and say, oh, you can't treat your legal aliens like that. You can't give them 60 days and stuff like this here. There's no countries in the world where people are set up shop, like I said, have safe haven cities. You know what I'm saying? But the Hebrew Israelites, it was very interesting, right? Because I did hear about this, some migrant here, right? But then I see all these um, Hebrew Israelites throughout America on YouTube in different cities and stuff like that. I'm like, if they're so dedicated to um, their their beliefs that these Hebrew Israelites stuff, they say it's not, he says it's not a, a religion, it's we're a spiritual people and stuff like that. If you all believe all the stuff there, why are they still here in America? Huh? That's first thing I, that's when I looked at the report, I saw all these Hebrew Israelites that, that live in Israel, kids, children, you know, since the, since 68. We got these guys on the street there, you know, wearing these garments, looking all like whatever, you know. Not to no disrespect to them, but look like costumes and stuff there. I'm like, if they so dedicated to this stuff there, why are they staying here? You know, why are they stay inside here? Want to go back home? If they say we, they have a home, Israel's our home, why are they doing still here? Huh? Working for the white man, too. You know what I'm saying? Working for the white man, you know what I'm saying? Getting them checks every goddamn two weeks. They're not leaving that shit there. You know what I'm saying? So, like, they didn't kick that bullshit down. Damn sure. Once I sell the people over there who. Say, okay, we're going to just leave America and, and migrate back to Israel. You got to respect that. It's when you do that. But the other ones sitting there on the corners, talking, yelling, screaming at people and all that bullshit. If y'all do not like it here, you know what I'm saying, in America, y'all have problems, whatever is in the system, take your bus back to Israel. And see if they allow you to do that shit there. If you see if they allow you to go on the corner and scream and pr protest and preach whatever y'all doing. In America. Yeah, but they're not going to have that shit. They're not going to let, let y'all do that there. You know what I'm saying? You're just running and playing these games these people here. They said 60 days, you better be out of our country. They can appeal it with, before the, um, the 60 days and prolong it. But um, hey, it's going to happen. You know, it's going to happen. You know what I'm saying? These, these are Hebrews rights. They're not Jews. So if they had no kind of a right to be there. But some kind of maybe some biblical stuff they they talking about. But um. Where's the proof at? You know what I'm saying? They have no proof of their divine right to be there. You know, not in the eyes of these Israelis there, these white Israelis. They ain't even having that shit there. They're like, nah, nah. But the ones that ever had their paperwork done, Israel said, cool, y'all can stay here. No problem. But the ones who don't have their paperwork done, 60 days, y'all must leave the country. You know, should be no gripes about throughout the world. Should be no gripes. They've been living there for 20, 30 years. And so what? Why get your paperwork done? You know what I'm saying? You living illegally, you know, getting paid under the table and things like that, taking jobs from other people. You need the hell out of here. But like I said, Israel, Israelites, 
Some of them got 60 days to leave Israel. You know what I'm saying? What these guys here in America, these Hebrew Israelites, what they got to say about that? I don't hear one you two talking about that there. Why? Because they not there. They didn't go back home and migrate with their brothers. They'd rather stay in America and sit in the corner and preach a yellow scream instead of going back home to their so-called holy land. <laughs> I'm out, fat peace. Thank you.